Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, um, but I've been really inspired recently by a lot of people doing makeup collection videos and decluttering videos. And I don't think I'm really going to declutter much, but I wanted to kind of show you guys my makeup collection. So this is my vanity. This is where I get ready every day. Um, and so I thought I would just kind of, oh, sorry, show you, you know, kind of what's on top and then show you what's in the drawers in a separate video or three separate videos. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do that. show you guys what is in my collection. So if that's what you want to see, then just keep watching. Right here I have this lamp that I think is from HomeGoods um, and I just added a little mask to it. I thought it was pretty and fun. It used to be on my nightstand and I moved it over here when I got a new lamp. So it's just it adds a little bit of extra light. Um, which is nice when I'm doing my makeup in the evening. Sorry, first of all, that the lighting's crap. It's storming, and it's just the weather is terrible, so it's really, really dark. But um, I get a ton of natural light in this area, which is why I really like I just it. just keep my makeup brushes here. Um, face brushes and then eye brushes are here, and a random toothbrush that I use um, for, like, flyaways when I'm doing my hair. So this is kind of what's over here. I have a couple of books that I keep on here just because I think they're pretty. I like the colors of the spines and I don't know I just more ways to display the books that I have. So um, as you can see in the middle there's a vanity mirror. I believe that's from Bed Bath & Beyond. So yeah that's what I use every day to get ready. Okay so moving on this is the Muji five drawer set. Um, this was super super popular I guess a few years ago. Um, for like beauty vloggers and beauty gurus and stuff and so that's why I bought it because I saw a bunch of girls who had it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of take you drawer by drawer and show you what's in there but first we'll start with what's on top. So first things first I just have some q-tips and then I have this new serum. I got a really nice serum. Most of it's gone but I keep it over here just because there is a little bit left at the bottom so I like to put this on every once in a while before I do my makeup. This little guy that has um, some of my most used face brushes in it that needs they need desperately need to be washed but this uh, actually had flowers in it it was a gift and I've seen this like little print pattern um, around recently so if I can find something I'll try to link it below that has this but yeah just some of my face brushes real techniques um, and then a couple from Sephora Jeez. I also have the Morphe 350 palette this palette is Great. Um, Morphe shadows are really, really nice. I know people are obsessed with this palette, and it is really, really nice. It doesn't look like I've used it hardly at all, but I have used some of the shadows. I tend to go more for, like, um, sorry, this is hard to do with one hand, like the browns and kind of like the sparkly colors. So, yeah, this is what I, I keep it on top because there's not really a ton of space to put it. So, that lives up there. I have two of these Tarte Z palette type things, and ooh, the first one just has a random assortment of shadows in there. Um, there's some Anastasia Beverly Hills up on the top, Urban Decay, a couple of Sephora, MAC, and a couple other ones that I actually need to um, like magnet down. They're just kind of floating in here right now. But yeah, so this is what's in that one. So the second one has all NYX shadows, and these all came in um, the kind of NYX advent calendar around the holiday times. It had 12 eyeshadows and 12 um, soft matte lip creams, and there's still a couple eyeshadows I need to depot per se and stick in here um, and look at I dug my finger into this one um, but yeah these are really really beautiful shadows very pigmented so um, yeah they live in here now we're moving along to the actual drawers themselves sorry if this is shaky I don't have a good camera or stand or anything so I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this but um so this is the top drawer here and let's see if I can pull that out would that be easier to see yeah, so we've got um, some Stila lip colors in here, like all of the crayons that I own, um, Tarte, Neutrogena, just a couple random ones, Bird's Bees, I really like that one. So this is all the lip crayons I own. And then in the back we have a couple lip glosses, a couple from Victoria's Secret. These are really old, but they're like nostalgic, so I keep them in here. And then, um, let's see, this Burt Bees one I got recently. It's a gloss. It's pretty, but it's, it's not great. And then I recently also got this metallic 
Milani and this is very very pretty so um, that's kind of what I keep in this drawer there's not like a rhyme or reason to my drawers um, except for the fact that like these are all crayons but that's just kind of how they work best so up next is a lot of lipsticks um, let's see if I can pick out some of my favorites they're also not grouped together by like any rhyme or reason um, yeah, they're just kind of all over the place. A lot of mini ones that I've gotten as samples. Jouer, um, Marc Jacobs, YSL, Cynthia Rowley, Pixie, Makeup Forever. So yeah, a lot of like little mini ones live in here. Um, this Maybelline Vivid Matte. I really like this one. This color is beautiful. Um, just a couple random other lipsticks. Clinique. Some of these are really, really old. I actually just went through all my lipsticks like last weekend and decluttered a bunch that I never wear. I mean, there's a lot in here that I don't wear very often, but I would say these are like the ones I'm more prone to wear. These stowaway ones I got in a Pop Sugar Must Have box, so those are really, really good. Uh, okay, moving right along. This might be one of my favorite drawers. So this is um, more glosses and liquid lipsticks. Oh, let's put you back where you belong. Um, so we've got NYX. We've got Buxom. This is one by H&M. Um, what is this? Oh, Note. This is a really like hot pink pretty color that my sister sent me. Isn't that cool? Very pretty. Um, sorry, this is hard to do with one hand. Um, these are Wet n Wild. Kat Von D. This came as like a duo set. Lolita and Lolita 2. Um, some NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, which I have so many of these little guys. These were the ones that came in that advent calendar I was talking about, that little size. Um, this one is Bite Beauty, I think. This is really, really pretty. I think it's called Souffle, right? Yeah. A really, really pretty pale pink. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to do this. There we go. <laughs> Really pretty pale pink. Um, um, kind of tiny little OCC lip tars in here. And then some more kind of crayons. Um, but these are like sample size ones. A couple NARS. And then a couple I've gotten in subscription boxes. And again, a couple smaller sample size lipsticks. The fourth one, I've got Ofra. Um, I've got a couple Wet n Wilds. This one is gorgeous. This is called Touch of Spice. Touch spiked with rum. Oh no, touch of spice is in my favorites. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, that's really, really pretty. It's by Wet n Wild, so it's really, really affordable. Clinique. Um, these are the four Jeffree Star colors that I have. Very, very pretty. Um, I really like this formula. I think it's really nice. A couple Mac, and then I have my Too Faced Melted. What are these called? Melted. Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. Um, I've got a couple tiny ones that came in a holiday set and then those over there. And then again, just more glosses in the back. Sephora. This is by um, Philosophy. And then a L'Oreal one. So yeah, all sorts of kind of random lipsticks. Okay, and the last drawer in this Muji drawer is for eye stuff. So we've got ColourPop eyeshadows right here. As you can see, this one is my favorite. It is called, if this will focus, Glow. And it's just a really good base color, so I really like using that. Um, I've got a bunch of mascaras here. I love this one by Ico. I think this was a sample size, but it's so good. I'm definitely going to buy another one. This one's old, so it needs to go, but I have it in there to remind me to buy another one. A um, couple eyeliners and some brow products in here, brow gel. Um, a couple concealers, my favorite Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. A little... <laughs> Anastasia eyebrow pencil that needs to go, but yeah, that's just where I keep my kind of everyday eye. So up next is this middle section. I keep just some uh, makeup remover wipes here. This is the powder I've been using recently. It's a wet and wild translucent powder. It's really, really nice. I mean, it's cheap, um, but like if I'm just doing everyday makeup kind of for work, this is what I'll use. Blenders, like really dirty ones. This one is cheapo crap from, um, I think like TJ Maxx or something, but this is the L'Oreal one. I really like this. This is good. I've got a, a NYX setting spray. I've got this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I love this stuff. It's so, so good. Um, 
the Maybelline Age Rewind. I've got a travel size prep and prime. Um, I'm currently using this baby skin primer. I'm just trying to, it's not my favorite primer, but I'm just trying to use it up. And then um, kind of on a daily basis, I've been using this CoverGirl CG Smoothers Hydrating Makeup, and it's kind of like a BB cream. Um, and it's fine. I mean, it's it does its purpose. It's like it says hydrating, which is good, but this is kind of my everyday. I like something more sheer on that for every day. And then um, over on this side, I have a tweezer. I have a gel eyeliner that I was using kind of here or there. Um, and then I've got an aquaphor. So just a couple random things over there. Oh, this is all of my favorite lipsticks. This, I keep them all in here, or the ones I just think look prettiest being displayed. Um, let's see if I can lift you up so you can see. So in the back I have an H&M one, um, four Maybelline ones. This is one of my favorites. This is Touch of Spice. I mentioned it earlier. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's such a good fall color. It's just, it's stunning. Um, and then we've got a Juice, ooh, Juice Beauty, Kat Von D, Lovecraft. I love that. Um, this is, oh, this is Rimmel Airy Fairy. It's so pretty. Um, Anna Sacconi Jolie told me, turned me on to this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, I think we've got a couple Revlon in here. Um, this one I just thought the packaging looked cool. It's by Mellow and it's like this neon orange color. It's kind of funky, but I just thought it looked cool. Um, I'll put them all back in a second. And then here is four Milani ones, um, YSL, and then the rest are MAC. Um, this is my favorite cream cup. Yeah. I think most people have seen cream cup. It's obviously, it's like just a light pink, my favorite, but I've got, um, I've got Whirl, Myth, um, what is that called? French Twist, I think. Yeah, French Twist, which is like a nude. Um, one by Mac and Rihanna, and then Heroin, which is the purple, really pretty. So those are kind of all my favorites, and then the ones I just love to display the most. Continuing on to this side. So um, at, on the top, I just have a little cupcake lip balm that is just, it's nice and you know, cute. Um, a clip, and then this is by Tony Moly. It's for your under eyes in the morning, so I really like using that. Up here, I've got um, just a bunch of kind of lip crayons and lippy sticks, a bunch from ColourPop. These are all e.l.f. back here, and then a couple from Pacifica. And here I keep all of my lip liners. I have some MAC, Buxom, uh, Too Faced, and then a couple other random ones. So that's where I keep all of the lip liners. And then I got this little guy. I want to say I got him or her. I want to say I got it at Home Goods. I'm not 100% sure. But in the top drawer, I have just all NYX stuff. So, so this has butter glosses, soft matte lip creams, the intense like lip shine. It has all sorts of stuff in here. So these are all NYX. Um, and this next drawer, I've got an eye base, um, a Bobbi Brown eye stick that came in a Sephora play box, a lip gloss, a powder, a Hot Mama by the Balm. And then I've got three balm blushes and a ColourPop highlighter. So that is what is in this top drawer. This drawer has my Laura Mercier translucent powder, um, just some more lip glosses, another eye cream, Clinique Pepstar, I love that. Um, Mary Luminizer, a Soap and Glory blush, a couple of NARS eyeshadows that I just love the packaging, so I keep them in there. More lip colors, Naked Basics, um, and then some NARS blushes down there. So, And then the last drawer in here, oop, I'm going to get you out. Um, MAC Soft and Gentle, my favorite, Becca Champagne Pop, um, a bronzer, and then a Tarte blush, a bunch of these cargo like cream eyeshadows which are awesome. Underneath those we've got a bunch of the Kylie lip kit colors and a gloss and then some more of my favorite liquid lipsticks. Um, or these Melted Matte by Too Faced I love. Anastasia, Kat Von D, Bare Minerals. So yeah more just 
lip stuff that I love. So yeah, lots and lots of lip products. That is everything that is on top of my vanity. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever. All the information is going to be down below. And stay tuned for revealing what's in those drawers at a later date. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.